Hello, I'm Dr. Craig Reeder at Mayo Clinic Arizona, and I had the privilege of presenting some data from a large international study uh, looking at uh, lenalidomide in the treatment of aggressive lymphoma. This was a large international study that um, was performed at 24 medical centers around the, this country and in Europe. And the data I presented uh, this year look at, looked at a, s a specific uh, subpopulation of patients with what we call transformed lymphoma. Transformed lymphoma is when a low-grade lymphoma converts to a higher-grade lymphoma. And typically these patients have a very poor prognosis with survivals usually only a year and a half to two years. Um, the patients in this uh, study had been previously treated with as many 12 different treatments before they entered this trial, and the average uh, number of treatments was four. So these patients had been heavily pretreated. And we were able to show that lenalidomide as a single agent taken by mouth uh, had a remarkable success rate with responses of 45% overall. When we looked at a subgroup of the transformed lymphoma patients, what we call the follicular lymphomas, uh, the response rate was even higher at 57%. About 21% of the patients actually entered a complete remission uh, with this therapy. And also notable is the fact that patients stayed in remission for about 13 months, which is a very nice long duration of remission with this single agent. Lenalidomide is a novel agent. It is an oral agent taken by mouth, and we've had the ability to study this drug for several years at Mayo Clinic um, Arizona and the other Mayo sites. And we found that it is active in s several different subtypes of non-Hodgkin lymphoma. Um, it appears to act by directly killing uh, the lymphoma cells and may also act by augmenting the natural killer cells in the body's immune system. It's a drug that's very well tolerated. Uh, the main side effect is myelosuppression, or lowering of the blood counts. And we do see the, this uh, happening in most of the different blood cancers that have been treated with lenalidomide. In summary, lenalidomide appears to be a very promising new treatment for patients with transformed non-Hodgkin lymphoma. And further studies are being done with this drug uh, in combination with other medications. And some of these studies will tell us best how to use this new agent.